Thanks for visiting my channel. Today's video is by request. Actually, my Aunt Linda contacted me and asked me if I would do a video on peanut brittle. And I said, of course I will. I love requests, you guys know that. We've had several requests over the holiday season and I've tried my best to accommodate most of them. Um, there will be some that you have requested that will be upcoming, but I'm trying to squeeze in everything I can for Christmas. Um, so this is for my Aunt Linda, and it's also in honor of my mom. She's unfortunately no longer with us, but peanut brittle was one of her favorite candies, and we always had it at Christmas time. So I'm gonna do today's video in her honor. So we, to make peanut brittle, we just, you really just need a few ingredients. We need some water, some butter, Spanish peanuts. You can do raw or salted and roasted. Um, some corn syrup and some sugar, some vanilla and baking soda. So there's not a long list of ingredients. It's really easy to do, but you're also going to need a candy thermometer. So make sure you get a, get yourself a candy thermometer. Um, I just I like the inexpensive ones that you get at the grocery store. You can, you can find them at any grocery store or uh, bakeware store. Um, they're like ten dollars or so. They actually work the best. I've had the fancy digital ones, and I prefer just the good old standard basic candy thermometer. It works great. So the first thing we need to do is you need to butter either two jelly roll pans and jelly roll pans are the baking sheets that are 15 by 10 by one inches. So you need either two of those or one large baking sheet. So I'm going to use my large sheet pan and I went ahead and generously buttered it. So that's the first thing you need to do and then we can get started making our candy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see what's going on in my pan and we'll get started. Okay, I think that's a pretty good view. So we are ready to get going. So we're gonna turn on a medium heat and we are going to add two cups of sugar, a half a cup of water, and one cup of light corn syrup and one cup is about what I have left in this bottle. And we are going to give that a little stir. We're going to stir this occasionally and we're going to get it cooking and we want to bring it to a full boil. Okay, it's gonna take about eight to 12 minutes for our sugar mixture to come to a full boil. Just a word on your candy thermometer, you wanna make sure that your the bottom of your thermometer is inside of your what you're cooking, but you don't want it touching the bottom of your pan. So double check for that, and then uh, just make sure it's set correctly, and then we will just keep this on a medium heat. We're gonna stir occasionally for eight to 12 minutes until we are at a full boil. Okay guys, we are at a full boil now, so we are going to add our butter. Carefully, you don't wanna splash yourself in butter. We need two sticks or one cup of butter, and I cut them in pieces. It just makes it easier for them to dissolve into your sugar. And we are going to continue cooking this, stirring occasionally until our candy thermometer reads 280 degrees. It's gonna take around 15, 20 minutes or so. Okay guys, we are at 280 degrees and you can see that our sugar and butter mixture has cooked to a beautiful golden hue. So now we're going to carefully add two cups of uh, Spanish peanuts. To add those, give it a stir. And we're gonna continue cooking until our candy thermometer reaches 300 degrees. Okay, we are at 300 degrees, so I have turned my heat off. We are going to add 
about a couple of teaspoons of vanilla. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. everything a really good stir and then we are going to pour it in our pan And then we're going to spread it out to about a quarter of an inch in thickness. Okay, that's it. We're going to let it cool and then we're going to break it into pieces. guys we are all done um, it wasn't really that hard I think the biggest thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure you have all of your ingredients ready before you ever begin the other thing too is you want to make sure you stay on a medium heat don't be tempted to turn it up it does take a little bit of time for things to reach the appropriate temperature so patience is really key here um, so don't be tempted to turn it up because with the way that this recipe is written, you're, at, you're cooking all that butter into your sugar syrup. It could burn if you're not careful. So I know there are a lot of different ways of making peanut brittle out there. This particular recipe came from the Lando Lakes website and I tweaked it a little bit by adding the vanilla that wasn't part of the original recipe, but you all know me, how much I love my homemade vanilla extract. So, and other recipes do call for vanilla. So. Um, I did add that, but the rest of it is a Lando Lakes recipe and there are different methods for making it. Some people add, use less butter. Some people don't add the butter while they're cooking the sugar syrup. Sometimes it's added after the fact. I really like this method because when you're cooking that butter, it gets, takes on a caramely flavor, flavor and texture a little bit. Um, and it makes it really nice. Plus, I love that golden hue that it has. Some people say that their peanut brittle doesn't turn out crispy, but this did was definitely nice and crispy. Definitely nice and crunchy. So delicious. The one thing I did want to mention or make note of is with your cookie sheet or your baking sheet. If you do not want to grease your baking sheet with extra butter, you can always line it with parchment paper or a sill pad. Some recipes call for the butter, some call for using parchment paper or a sill pad. That call is entirely up to you. I didn't have any problem removing my brittle from my pan, which is one of the complaints I did read in when I was looking at recipes, one of the complaints that people had is when they used the butter, it was still stuck to the pan. I didn't have that problem, but I was pretty generous with my butter. So it's that, that call's kind of up to you, whatever you prefer, but the extra butter is nice in your peanut brittle. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, you also just wanna know that you have to work fast. And if you, uh, you have to, at the end, you have to be able to hold your pan and stir it because the, the mixture is pretty thick by the time you reach that 300 to 305 degrees. Some recipes say 300, some say 305. So somewhere between the 300 and the 305, your mixture is really thick at that point and it takes a lot to stir it. So if you need an extra hand, just make someone, sure someone is on hand to help you hold the pan while you do the stirring. Um, 
and to help you out a little bit. So just a few tips there, but this is really fun. Candy's great for a Christmas time. And so I hope you'll give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section, like subscribe and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day guys.